event allows us to have mentorship that normally you don't have you don't have the ability to be in a room with multiple general officers that have the knowledge and experience and so it just allows every cadet to kind of broaden their horizon and see what's out there for them and see what opportunities they may have in the future. A lot of these uh, higher ranking officials, uh, uh, officers have been, to, been in my shoes. They've done what I've done. They've been to uh, schools I've been to. So I've gotten really great advice from those different perspectives. Here at Howard University, we have a great proximity to some of the, the most senior leadership in the United States Army. Uh, and so what's neat when you bring that senior leadership together, you see the diversity and the power of the United States Army. And then it only works if you're honest with yourself. It's a great opportunity for them to ask us questions from everything from how did you, how did you manage a family for 33 years, how did you manage combat. How do you keep track of all your responsibilities? And uh, what would you tell us today that we need to know to be successful in the Army? Having the Secretary of the Army here today really sets a precedent and a, his priority of where his focus is, which is about the next generation and diversity of bringing on all walks of life into our military. We know that certain branches produce more of the senior leaders across all of the services, and so it's important that we get diversity at the very start of uh, the branches, the careers in the Army, um, so that it plays out over a generation in the Army. So the verdict is in. For the Army of tomorrow to be as strong as the Army of today, we must harness the power of diverse teams and draw further from one of America's greatest advantages, our diverse population.